Hi, welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will going to look at how we can import the Google spreadsheet data within the Data Studio. As you know, importing the data is a key step to start building the visualizations. And we will going to look at step by step how we can import the data. Also, if you want to look at a very in-depth discussion about data import and uh, some of the key issues, challenges, as well as improvements, then you can get my course, which is present there below in the description and get an in-depth discussion. So let's go ahead and start using the Google Data Studio for, by creating the blank report. So once we click on that, you will see that a number of options has been given to you to connect the data source. You have two options, connect to data or my data source. My data source is basically your existing data sources where you have already made the connection. So once you click on the Google Sheets, which is over here, it will show you the different sheets which is available for us for the purpose of viewing. As well as you have a couple of options, for example, you have all items that means items that are owned by you or shared with you apart from that any start sheet that means your favorite if you have any url or you also have the option to directly go in the google drive uh, by using this link and then import it into the uh, google data studio all right apart from that you have the option to search as well let's say i want to search for example i have uh, iris as one of the data set so i can click on iris and select this over here it will show you the different sheets which are available within the iris and over here it has options like use first row as header if the first row contain headers and then include head include hidden and filter fields apart from this you have the option that you want only a specific range like a1 to b52 as an option or an example which is given over here you can specify an example like a1 to let's say e500 if that's the only range you want to select so if fixed range you want you can select that so let's go ahead and click add once we click on add you will see that the connection will be created for us and a default report is created so where it will by default pick up one dimension. So over dimension, you have these species and the record count is 50. So by default, record count is the metric which is being taken. Species is the dimension which is presented over here. And you have data source as iris. So you have two pane over here. One is the data pane clearly indicating what is a data source, what is a dimension, what is a metric how many rows you want per page 100 rows or more than that or less than that and then couple of more options down there which we will we can discuss in the later in the video now if there is a need that you want to change the field you can always change the field or you can always change the dimension which i will be covering in the future video but that's the minimum what you need to import any google data spreadsheet into the google data studio so that's about it in this tutorial about how we can import the data. But if you need more in-depth discussion and more features and understanding, then please subscribe to my course. The link is given below in the description and you will find a much greater discussion about the importing data and how we can manage that within Google Data Studio.